today we will see some examples related to the general form of numbers the number a c k e has digits a c k and e express this number in the general form in this number a is in the place of 1000 c in the place of 100 k in the place of 10 and e is in the place of units therefore This number can be written in its general form as thousand into a plus hundred into c plus ten into k plus one into e. Example two, express nine p r one in general form. Here we see that nine is in the place of thousand, p is in the place of hundred, r is in the place of tens, and one in the place of units. Therefore. This number can be written in general form as thousand into nine plus hundred into p plus ten into r plus one into one. Example three: the digits p, q, s, and k written in the general form are shown below. Find out what will be the usual form of this number. Stop the video and try first. Here. Ten into p shows that p is in the tens place. Similarly, hundred into q shows that q is in the hundred place. Similarly, one into s shows that s is in the units place. And ten thousand into k shows that k is in the place of ten thousand. There is no digit in the place of thousand, so here we will write the placeholder zero. Now we can say that the usual form of this number is k zero q p s. Example four: the number p q minus q p has p and q digits, and p is greater than q. Is this number divisible by three? Just think about how we can solve this. Think for a while. You are absolutely correct. We can solve this by using the general form. We can write p q as ten into p plus one into q, that is ten p plus q. Similarly, q p can be written as ten into q plus one into p, that is ten q plus p. In this way, we can write p q minus q p is equal to ten p plus q minus ten q plus p. This way. P Q minus Q P is equal to ten P plus Q minus ten Q minus P, which is equal to ten P minus P plus Q minus ten Q, which is equal to nine P minus nine Q, which is equal to nine P minus Q in brackets. Since this number P minus Q is multiplied by nine, we can say that this number is a multiple of nine. That is. Nine is a factor of p q minus q p. That is, p q minus q p is divisible by nine. And since three is a factor of nine, this number will also be divisible by three. Now solve the given questions yourself. First question: Express the following in general form. Second question. Express the number five phi a u t in general form. Third question: Are numbers s t plus t s divisible by number eleven? So today we saw some examples related to the general form of numbers. In the next video, we will see some more examples.